From rumors of Reggae and Phoebe's secret love affair that got a little too out of pocket, to a little switcheroo on set that got the wrong actor to prepare for a steamy scene, here are secrets from the Bridgerton set you never knew. Reggae Jean Page and Phoebe Dunvor had undeniable chemistry in season one. Not only did they do justice to the whole fake relationship trope, but every time the two of them came on the screen together, it just all felt so natural, as if what the two had was real, and that it wasn't just them playing characters on a show. Their romance on the show was so believable that fans were convinced that the two had a thing going on between them. Seeing how well the two worked as a pair, both on and off screen, rumors started to spread like wildfire that Paige and Dynevor were dating in real life and had kept it a secret from everyone around them. But before things had gotten way out of hand, in January 2021, Reggae set the record straight and shut down the rumors quickly, denying his alleged romance with his co-star. He told Access Hollywood that everything that fans needed to know was on camera, and all of the sparks that flew came off of the beautiful scripts they were handed. He added that the steamy dialogue, scripts, and material were the reason why he and Phoebe were able to portray their characters well, and not some whirlwind romance like fans thought. While Phoebe didn't address the rumors at all, she revealed that she and Paige had stayed in touch even after they wrapped filming because the two had become good friends after spending so much time together. Speaking of being best buds, though, these two weren't the only ones who had rumors going wild about them. When Kate Sharma and Anthony Bridgerton first locked eyes, it just didn't feel like Jonathan and Simone were faking it, did it? When you think about Anthony's burning desire for Kate, and Kate stealing glances at him as he begrudgingly tried to court her sister, Edwina, it almost feels like the actors were way too committed to their roles. I mean, the tension between Canthony was so palpable that it had us all screaming at our screens, begging them to kiss each other. And I'm not gonna lie, there was a huge part of me that even thought that the two actors were being low-key. There were a couple of rumors that went around saying that the reason Simone and Jonathan were able to look so in love together was because they already were. But seeing as Bailey's openly gay and Ashley's pretty happy with her boyfriend Tino Cleon, I think those rumors should be taken with a grain of salt. It's no doubt that their chemistry is off the charts, but is there a secret romance between these platonic soulmates? Yeah, I'm not buying it, but you know what does seem likely? Queen Charlotte's king and queen actually have the hots for each other in real life. Both India Amartea Fio and Corey Milkreest have had us absolutely swooning over the two of them since that scene out in the gardens. And all their steamy scenes in the show just took their chemistry up a notch. But seeing how effortlessly they were able to play husband and wife on screen sparked quite a lot of rumors of a budding romance behind closed curtains. Fans didn't only ship the young king and queen together, but seeing how comfortable these two were in interviews and behind the scenes footage, they speculated that the two co-stars were probably dating each other in real life and keeping it strictly under wraps. But it seems like Corey's already taken for now. The 25-year-old once mentioned how he had binge-watched Bridgerton with his girlfriend after he landed the role of young King George, so it doesn't look like India and Corey are a thing for now. Although, who knows? Maybe sparks will fly sometime in the future. Aside from rumors of forbidden romances, there's quite a lot of stuff that went down behind the scenes that fans have no idea about. There take the Paul Mall situation, for instance. What was only a competitive family game for the Bridgertons turned out to be pretty damn serious for the rest of the cast. In season two, together with the Sharmas, the siblings play a game of Paul Mall, a game that's like a precursor to croquet. Although unlike the show, Luke Thompson, who plays Benedict Bridgerton, took things way too seriously and even broke two of the mallets while filming. Not only that, but Charithra Chandran, whose character Edwina was supposed to suck at the game, actually grew up playing croquet, so for her to be bad at it became an inside joke among the cast. The actress told E! News that even though most of the shots were choreographed, sometimes the crew recorded the cast messing about, and that really captured the essence of their entire dynamic with each other. You see, while there's a lot of love between the cast on set, in fact, Eloise and Penelope's bond is even better off screen. 
Yeah, I know things are rocky between the two in the show right now, considering the fact that Eloise now knows that her best friend is the gossip girl of the ton right now, but did you know that Claudia, Jesse, and Nicola Coughlin are actually the best of friends in real life? In fact, everyone even refers to them as Penelope's in the writer's room. According to showrunner Chris Van Dusen, when he saw the two of them together, he just knew that Nick was the perfect pen, and Claudia was Eloise all along. Even during their fight at the end of season two, Coughlin admitted that those were actually real tears, and that she was super nervous filming the scene, making her sick to the stomach. Even Jesse cried after the director yells, cut! The friendship between the two actresses is, in fact, so deep that they even took a blood oath. How's that for a secret? When talking about their time on set, since Nick had heels on, she was having trouble keeping up with the heavy costume and kept falling over. This one time, she took a misstep and tripped while accidentally stabbing Jessie's hand with her umbrella. Claudia, being Claudia, tried to steady her friend and catch her, but the silver spokes of the umbrella injured her and left her with a gash just big enough to bleed a little. While she was able to save her white gown from getting ruined with all the blood, it did soak through her white glove. And since it was the same hand that Nick was holding, the girls called it their own blood oath. And you know what they say, blood is thicker than water, so maybe they're bound for life now. It's crazy how chaotic filming for the show has been. I mean, bloody oaths aside, the fact that Jonathan Bailey got his butt all done up for a scene is pretty insane, don't you think? While shooting for a sex scene on the show, Jonathan talked about how the makeup team had to be called in for a rather unusual touch-up. When he was asked to take his pants off for the first time for the scene, someone on set was immediately called in for makeup and he had to get makeup applied to his buttocks. According to Bailey, it was just to de-shine his body. But you've got to admit, it's crazy how seriously the show takes its intimate scenes. So much so that not only did they ask their actors to sign consent contracts, but they even had an intimacy coordinator on set to guide the actors. Yup, that scene in season one where Simon and Daphne are basically getting it on in pretty much every room of their house. That entire sequence was heavily choreographed under the supervision of an intimacy coordinator, who made sure that the pair was comfortable while filming their scenes and being nude. Even Phoebe talked about her experience with E! News and said that she felt really proud of those scenes, considering how hard reggae and she worked on them. She added that not only did she feel safe with Paige, but since the two of them were told to treat those scenes like intricate stunts, it was all super easy. So it's safe to say that things on the Bridgerton set were always professional, but this one time, there was a little mix-up between the two Lukes. In an interview with The Sun, Nicola Coughlin revealed that every actor who has a sex scene to film has a special personal trainer assigned to them. For some reason, though, there was a switcheroo, and Luke Thompson, who plays Benedict Bridgerton, got mistaken for his namesake, Luke Newton, who plays his brother Colin, and ended up training with a personal trainer, getting all jacked up to shoot a sex scene. But unfortunately for him, Luke T got pumped and dumped because, turns out, the trainer was meant for Newton instead. And the reason why this little mix-up happened was because the actors don't exactly get all the scripts at once. However, Luke Thompson was still allowed to keep his personal trainer, because who knows if he might need them in season three. And there you have it, from a little switcheroo on set that got the wrong actor to prepare for a steamy scene to rumors of Reggae and Phoebe's secret love affair that got a little too out of pocket, those were the secrets from the Bridgerton set you never knew.